All right, everybody, welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Here we are back in the briefing room, just going to chat with everybody and also going to see if we can maybe do some of the side missions since we have collected more intel. Time to break out your Russian, Bell. Mm, I don't understand why you keep asking, like, questions about your own... own team like they set it up to where one of your team is going to be betray you and that of course has happened in previous call of duty campaigns so you know but i'm not too sure why we are suspecting something now then again hudson did lie to us <laughs> hell no kgb headquarters just between you and me and me and sims i hope i never get closer than pulling up in a car and picking you up this has every chance of going tits down. Up, man. Tits up. Up, down. What's the difference? Yep. It's a long way to Moscow. Yeah, I'm just... This is gonna be, I don't see why my character would ask about someone like Park. Nope. Okay. <laughs> He's busy. Hey, Hudson. Have you come to convince me that you should be headlining this operation? Uh, no. Yeah, I'd like to know the reasons. The long and short of it is that you're the wrong person for this op. I hope you prove me 110% wrong on this. Mm, see, this is this thing. Uh, we can't take the time to fabricate them. Belikov will get you uniforms, and from there you'll need to improvise. Strategically speaking, this board is on insanity. Which is precisely the type of work we rely on Adler for. Either as Adler's most trusted ally, or as cannon fodder. An excellent proposition. Okay. There's something actually in here? on your mind do you think we'll actually get inside this isn't the first government agency I've broken into the best are virtually impenetrable but there's always a weakness in this case the weakness is the KGB placing too much trust in one of their own mm. I'm not gonna ask a scar I don't he's not one of mine if I couldn't put my life in the hands of vetted strangers, I'd be in a different line of work. No, MI6 focuses mainly on the perimeter. Agents in client states, smaller figures within the USSR. They go from the outside in. Belikov is one of ours, supposedly. I'm trusting Hudson here. The man could be a pain in the ass, but he's no fool. If there was ever an operation suited to your skill set, it's this one. I handle the talking. You get us the names. Why do you ask? Uh, no, I don't have second doubts. Uh, no reason. That's actually literally what I would say. Mm-hmm. And that is the answer I deserve. Okay. I do want to ask him for his scar, but again, I was asked not to, so I won't. What the hell is this? Received your update, Adler. If you think you got a rotten apple, toss it. Oh, here we go. Midnight, Frankfurt coming your way. We might indeed have a rotten apple in our midst. Dragovich. Atlanta, Madison, 
Los Angeles. Huh. Okay. I want to check these right now. What new evidence do we have? Look at that. We, well, we, we're missing one. Uh, you did good finding this reel in East Berlin. It looks like a number station broadcast intended for the spy ring. Give it a listen. See if anything clicks. Discovered Kasim carrying this coded message. We believe it's intended for the U.S. spy ring, but no one's been able to decrypt it yet. Show him how it's done. Twenty-nine fifty-three. Oh, here you go. Uh, it's not that difficult. Um, it's it's a pattern that skips each number, so. Well, hold on. You have 53. That goes up to 56 there. Then 59. Oh, I, I get it. This should be... The blue one, the blue question mark should be... Three, four. So that should be... Plus two. Yeah, plus one. So that should be 54. It's 53, 54, 56, 59, 63. Because every time it goes up plus one, meaning that 53 is plus one is 54. Then it's plus two, which is 56. Then it's plus three, which is 59. And then it's plus four, 36. Meaning that the next one would be plus five. Um, the red one is uh, 29... 35, 38, that's 3 the whole, the entire time, meaning that it will be 32. So it's 32, 54. Now we're going to see if that is actually a thing here. Portland. Here you go. Three, two, five, four. It's that. That's it. That's it. I want to... Uh, decrypt it. Yes. Access denied. Excuse me? Here we go. Three, two, five, four. Passphrase? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> ah. Well, I thought we could crack it without the last piece of evidence, but we can't. Unless it's Eldritch, but I don't assume it is, because that's just the name here. Portland. Three, two, five, four. Or it's Portland. Let's check. Let's check that. Let's check that. So, thirty, thirty-two, fifty-four, Portland. Authenticate. Uh, sure. I guess. Access denied. Great. I guess the phrase is wrong. Because I'm pretty sure that. The code is correct. We'll see. I guess I'm missing just one vital piece of information. Here, let's see what we got. Also, we're missing one. That ledger from Krauss's apartment might hold some clues to the lead agent identities. Seems Krauss was a middleman to funnel money for them. Okay. It sounds like a partial report to Moscow on lead agent activities. This should help us narrow down the list of suspects. 
The last report from Bearded Lady indicates a vote in Parliament is happening soon. She believes she has enough influence to convince others to side with her. Strongman is concerned he's been monitored. Suggest KGB run interference for him. Juggler is worried he may lose his next election. Recommends active measures against his opponents. Uh huh. This is a gender thing where the bearded lady is used. She strong man is he juggler he. So uh, let's see who are the suspects. I oh, got multiple women here. Copenhagen. Amsterdam. Ugh. I feel like I'm still missing again something essential. Let's still skip this. Let's hopefully in the next mission we will get the final clue. Oh god, another This is the next mission. What is this then? We already did this, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll... I'll see if I can get the last piece of thing here in the next mission. Let's head to the KGB. What do we got here? Uh-huh. Security camera. Time card sheet. Alright, let's do it. The Lubyanka building, KGB headquarters in Moscow. The sleeper agent records are stored in the archives 100 feet below ground in a nuclear defense command bunker. Your only way in or out is through this high security elevator. We'll need proper credentials. That's where our asset, Belikov, comes into play. Belikov has been our source inside the KGB for nearly a decade. He'll get us in. He came through for us in Yamantau. He'll do it again. This shit is crazy, even by his standards. You sure he's on board? An immediate nuclear threat warrants every risk at this point. I'm sure he wouldn't disagree. Sims, get Belikov on the line. Oh, we're playing as Belikov now. Алло, Беликов на трубке. Извините, я думал, что это песок с пол Сингапура. We're almost to the tunnels. Do you get access to the bunker? Ah, uh, wrong, Mr. Moore. Oh, well, here we go. I may have trouble getting a bunker key. Could compromise my position. I will have a bunker key for you soon. Okay. I know you have this under control. And one more thing. One of our East Berlin informants recently switched sides and fled from Moscow. We have reason to believe he's in the Lubyanka building today. Oh, is that Richter? He knows okay. too much about our Berlin network. I'm thinking an early retirement. Got it. you at the basement entrance once you have the bunker key. Come in, uh, Forum of the Russia. Kamra Belikov, you've been summoned to the conference room upstairs. Secretary Gorbachev is here from the central committee. Oh, Gorbachev is here. The big man himself. Oh, look at all this. That's not our problem. I know it isn't, but if you would just listen to me for a minute. Citizen, we can't just keep... I was told to show up this morning. I was told it was urgent. I drove from Gorky all night. 
Have you ever made the drive to play? This actually kind of reminds me of the um, hotel level in Paris. Uh, in Call of Duty World War II. The amount of uh, levels where you actually are just exploring and not shooting is really refreshing. Maybe some reviewers will hate this, but I love it. Look at these little computers that they're working on. Oh, what we got here? It's the Mafia. Yeah, see. Man. That's fine. Oh my god, look at this. No, not yet. I think he's still with us. This is gorgeous. Very imposing, too. I thought for a moment this was Adler because of his leather jacket. Huh. That's a lot of surveillance. I assume I'll get to explore this in a moment. Comrade Belikov, have a seat. General Secretary Brezhnev has taken an interest in the new security development. There's a mole within the KGB. The committee wants someone from the first chief directorate to oversee Colonel Kravchenko's investigation. If you've not met him already, this is Imran Zakayev. Thank you, Secretary Gorbachev. And thank you all for welcoming me with open arms. Zakayev. I can think of no greater tragedy than a home violated Isn't he from, from the inside. Not a game as well. Trust and love within a family is sacred. Apparently. <laughs> not everyone shares your beautiful sentiments. Kravchenko was also from uh, Black Ops Comrade 1. Comrade Belikov. As head of security, I understand you've practically exhausted yourself trying to unearth this <laughs> move. How is that gone? Keep it cool. Uh, if Jangles and Garrett have left me with no living suspects. I am not a patient man, Bilikov, or a compassionate one. Until the mole is found, I want security increased around the bunker. Zakayev, do you have any recommendations? We should restrict bunker access. We also want to cultivate closer relationships with all of you. I want to know your hopes, your fears, your ambitions. Be thorough, but we don't want any significant disruptions. And you, Belikov? Who do you think should retain bunker access during the investigation? Oh, this is where I can choose who I will get it from. Hold on. You should pick your most trusted man to have a bunker key. Zakaev like I have and I should retain a bunker key. <coughs> That will suspect me. Uh... <coughs> ah, crap. Mm. <coughs> if he chooses... Okay, here's the thing. If he chooses his most trusted man, and he chooses me, and then I use the bunker key, they will immediately suspect me. So I will go for the generals, because then they can only... Well, then they have multiple people that they can... Suspect. It pains me to say it, but in a troubled time like this, even <laughs> generals need restrictions. Secretary Gorbachev, only General Charkov should retain his bunker key for now. Okay, well, that still works. Very I need well. to get it from Charkov. It. Worry yourself no longer, sir. I've already ordered the bunker keys collected from the men. Comrade Belikov, we are in grave danger from the capitalists. Our collective, our very way of life is at risk. Mm -hmm. The traitor will be caught. And he will pay a high price for his betrayal. Belikov, you are dismissed. All right.
What's next? Use the KGB map to investigate multiple ways of acquiring a bunker key. The KGB map updates with useful information as you explore, but first open the map and track the camera room. This is so cool! It's no longer just a shooter. It's like an adventure game, a spy game. A detective, it's, it's amazing. I'm being watched. I need a bunker key. Now, first, I'll have to kill the cameras. Okay, camera room is here. Before finding a way to get the bunker key, disable the security cameras first. Uh huh. We were there before. Actually, Charkov is, is set as a uh, star on the map I already saw. Actually, let me take a look at this statue right here, because this, again, is very imposing. Oh, the Soviets. Good old Lenin. Just chillin'. Look at all this security right here. Jeez. They have 15 cameras here. More even. Oh my goodness. Certain action spaces will raise suspicions. Be aware of what is in. Uh huh. This area is restricted. If I'm spotted oh, here, I'll blow my cover. Can I kill you? Alright, non-lethal works as well. Now I need to hide the body. Um... Can I put it in the closet? Haha, <laughs> look at that. I can. Oh, no, 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 no. It is very linear, though, to the point where you have to put the body where the game wants you to. It's not like a Hitman game where you can just hide the body somewhere and hope that the enemy doesn't find it. You cannot progress until you put the body just where the game wants it. Okay, so, shut down cameras. Here we go. Cameras are shut down. Explore the map to find a way to acquire Bunker Key. Let Adler and his team in the building. So, oops. Uh, caps lock. I have to get a Bunker Key for Adler. I'll need it to access the vault. <sighs> Unfortunately, Charkov now has the only one. And Charkov is all the way over here. Um, which is still on this floor. We have a few optional things. Uh, if I have a de deactivated key card, the computer and data could be used to reprogram it into a bunker key. Okay. Interesting. So that way I don't even have to go to ch uh, Charkov. This one, Charkov plans to interrogate a desperate political prisoner today. Persuade him to take out Charkov for me. Huh. That also sounds very interesting. And here is if I can find what evidence Kravchenko's men are investigating to frame Charkov as the mole. See, that was what I had in mind. Though, yeah, well, I don't know. This is all intrigue. Let's talk to the prisoner. Let's see what he wants. To go here and then to right. Hello. Hello for Mother Russia. Glorious Mother Russia. Communism is a beautiful thing. How can I help you, sir?
Okay. Comrade Belikov, we have a dissident inside, Pyotr Ivanov. Charkov wishes to speak to him. What do you know about the prisoner? I understand he's been collaborating with our enemies. He'll be sent away for good soon. Charkov's arrived, let me inspect it. Yes, comrade. I've already secured the room, but please go ahead. Uh -huh. Thank you. Closed door. Alright. Who exactly are you? Can I take that off your head? No. Whoever you are, you won't get shit out of me. Hmm. That's interesting. I will not help him out, so he can have vengeance. I don't need to play your games. Just do whatever it is you're going to do. Okay. Great. Ivanov won't cooperate. <clears throat> Yet. I should find leverage in the records room. Records room. Where? Date entry? No. Interrogation. Server room. Bathroom. How do I switch to second flow? That's armory. That's where the key card is, right? Yep. Oh, here we go. Records. Okay, that's actually pretty far. Let's go. And at the checkpoint, I could talk to Kravchenko, who is indeed here. Milikov, have you dug up my mole yet? No matter. We've discovered additional unauthorized communications. Within hours, we will know the exact computer they came from. Mm, not if I find it first. Comrade. Fuck. I will be exposed soon. In the server room, I could point evidence towards Cherkov. Um... <clears throat> Server room is all the way over there. I will need to sneak uh, through a lot of restricted areas. Let's stick with the records room for now, which are over here. Crap. Can I get you to look away? How oh, can I help you, sir? Shit. Um. So, okay, you you stay with your book. Ah, oh, here he comes. Oh, damn it! Okay, that's an option. Let's get into the armory then. So, what can I do for you? I'm doing all like different I'm sorry, comrade objectives Belkov, at the same time. But Zakaev has increased security measures. You'll need authorization from the war room like anyone else. Uh, you know you can trust me. I'm sorry, I can't. Zakaev would have my head on a pike. Okay, that failed. Good day, sir. The guard won't let me in. Uh, I need to get what he asked for. Or I can take him out. Ooh. Does this connect? Uh, it does. Oh, 
All right, I had to take a quick little break, but I am back. Actually, on the map, something interesting. So we are here, and in the recruitment office, it is here. The loose ends are the optional, the informant, Richter. We need to eliminate him. We don't have a weapon, but let's see if we can do something about it. Can I pick it? I can... Again, I do absolutely love this whole exploration adventure style of level. It's so cool. Let us jerk off. Okay, yeah, that's him. My real question is, how are we going to get rid of this guard? Am I indeed going to be able to silently take him out there's another yeah see he's looking behind him yeah that's uh mm -hmm. so in regards to that how am i uh let's see where am i How am I going to be able to, like, for example, do this? Maybe I can without them seeing? Well, what do you know? That works. In that case, you just stay there. You hear about my assignment? I don't know if there were other ways to take him down that were maybe. Edward will be pleased. Now we need to focus on the bunker key. A bit more original, like grab something and stomp on his head. But, you know, it's whatever. The armory guard has a weakness for Cubans. Okay, perhaps a bribe could get me inside. Oh, look at that. All these different options. I like it. I like it. What do we got here? Bianca. Mm -hmm -hmm. Cheap asset. Okay. This is seeking sanctuary. He's from the day to air anyway. Uh, so I could bribe him. Yeah, he's dead. But I want the records for the prisoner. This area is restricted. If I'm spotted here, I will blow my cover. I can put his body in here. There we go. Okay, now it actually is not necessary to complete the the objective, which is cool. All right, what do we got? What dirt we got? Uh, okay, yeah, that is where all the data is. Just tr trying to see if there's maybe something optional here. Doesn't seem like it. All right, here we go. Another lock to pick. The KGB has his wife and daughter's abductions already planned. That's good. I can use this to my advantage. Detain his family. Man, that is some weak ass shit. If you do that. Mm. Yeah, no. Let's go with the prisoner. Uh, prisoner way. 
I think I see four different options to do this. You can either get a key card that will work as the bunker key. You can get charcoal f uh, be spotted as the mole with the server. You can use the prisoner. Or... Uh, what is the other one? Maybe there are three. <laughs> What does my family have to do with any of this? Oh, here we go. Who's save my glass? If you help me, I can guarantee your family's safety. Yes, anything. Please, what do I need to do? I need you to kill General Charkov. Well, like your cuffs, no questions asked. Kill him? <coughs> uh, I'll try. But swear to this, my own life for my family. <laughs> Man, this is sad in a way, because... If he's going to kill him, he's going to get shot. Well, here we go. Wait outside for Charkov to arrive. Belikov, I just heard the most amusing thing. Let's chat once I'm finished here. Comrade, how's our friend doing? I don't know, sir. He doesn't have much to say. Oh, we'll see about that. Citizen Ivanov, I trust you're enjoying your accommodations. Go to hell. Hell is not the message you wrote to the future. Be advised, we have a situation in the holding cell. Oh, he was stabbed with a pencil. Oh my god, is this Keanu Reeves secretly? Wow, what a death. I would like to get his bunker key, but this guy is in the way. Uh, can you go away? Tragic loss, keep everyone out of here. Yes, sir. Good. Good, good, good. Bye, and now I'll take the key. Okay, now I need to head to the basement and let Adler's team in. <laughs> Got it. I wonder if he actually survived that. He just got punched in the back. I would have expected him to get shot. Oh, can I help you, sir? Open the gate. Doing a security sweep. Blood. Thank you. New Mexico. Technically, I will be in Mexico for a week before crossing over. Ooh, this is a very cozy area. This also seems like we're going to fight in here. I just love that in every room something is going on. Like, it's not just NPCs standing there. They're doing things. It's an incredible amount of detail. <sighs> Our team will need uniforms to get past security. Luring two soldiers into the tunnel should do the trick. Okay. Belikov here. Send a security detail to meet me in the furnace room. Immediately. Wasn't sure you'd come through. I don't have much choice, do I? Oh, we're switching perspectives. This keycard gives you elevated access to the bunker. 
What about uniforms? Shh. Sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Now, take cover. Keep it clean. <laughs> what? I was immediately detected. That is this some, that, okay. I guess I should hide button. right. What about uniforms? Shh. Sounds like they're here now. Okay, I will lead them through and distract them. You two do the rest. Now, take cover. Keep it clean. I cannot actually crouch. Was bloody. Там, там, там. Я нашел мне запертую дверь. Нету никакого оправдания этой некомпетентности. У нас есть очень строгие протоколы, чтобы это предотвратить. Понятно? Okay, I have to leave, but you should have everything you need. Now, if stopped, you are reporting to Commander Sobel. Get changed. So now it also changes more into that territory with Call of Duty World War II, where you need to remember who you are, who your higher commander is, and stuff. Here. Our weapons and keycard are in the back. Again, all the respect for the game for not going that just shoot things route. Come on, this way. Once we're in the bunker, we're on our own. <laughs> yeah, they're all looking suspiciously at us. Probably with Adler with a scar. Oh no. Tovarish, moraš je pustiš nas. Ladno. Kravchenko is going to speak to uh to our informant. That's not good. No metal detectors for us. We're going around. How? Куда это вы направляетесь? Досмотр обязателен для всех без исключения. Особо authorization. Вы должны пройти досмотр. Was it not on time? Товарищ, доставьте вашу сумку сюда для досмотра. Пойдем, я нем кобиностей. Дайте нам пройти. Не принимайте это близко к сердцу, товарищ. У меня приказ досматривать всех. I'm super scared here. Oh no. Did I mess up? Or is this part of it? Товарищ, ты нужен за Кайву. Я разберусь. Спасибо, товарищ. Oh my god, Belikov to the rescue. Поздравите, Белико. По-моему, я здесь, нет? Пойдем. Thank you. Это будет продолжаться столько, сколько нужно. Что здесь происходит? What a great mission. What a great mission. Man, this game by now has like blown me away. Take us down. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, awkward. No, Elitsa. Could that be privily? Uh knock out. Knock out. Okay. Yes. 
Elevator conversation always gets awkward. Mm-hmm. Gear up. Oh, we're going loud. I'm ready. They won't be happy to see us down here. Wait for my word. Knock, knock, bitches. Let's kill communists. I'm moving. Let's move. Actually, I shouldn't go too. Whoa, grenade! Go too fast. I want to see if there's like um, intel. Kind of standing there in front of Adler, but hey, whatever. Man, the fact that you can go here three levels is also amazing. I'm hurt a little bit. Let's rest. Things go south. We need to secure our expel. Plant a gas canister in the vent. Will do. What do we got here? Set the gas. The oh, gas. Get to the vault. What's over here? Oh, Adler is killing the whole Soviet army without me. We're almost to the vault. There's the vault. Open the door. I've got your back. All right. Uh. Come here on, we go. go. Open the vault. You grab the intel. I'll keep watch. We'll do. There are more intel than just the main one, though. Ooh, we got here frags, proximity mines. Let's take that. We don't have much time before they get through. All right. There's the list bell. Copy it to a disc. Uh. I don't know if there was time, yeah, see, it, to check the other stuff, so, even if we gather it, I'll assume that it'll be... Let me... Here.
They're almost through the door. Yep, and we're on only on 30%. Get ready. Here they come. Born ready. Sweet Jesus, they brought the whole army. Oh, hell yeah. How far are we at? 86%. Let's go. Let's do it. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. They're locking the place down. Follow me. This way. Surrender. You will not get away. We have blocked all exits. Surrender. Surrender. We'll be fine. Lights out. We need to find a way out. You're gonna ambush us, Adler. Keeping my eye on those windows. Oh. Maybe switching to this again is the smart thing to do. Ooh, and he even has a flashlight. Nice. This might be a way out. You are surrounded. We are your friends. Got Belikov. Time for plan B, Bill. Activate the gas. Drop your weapons and surrender or he dies. When we move, get a mask on Belikov. I'll cover you. We'll do. I got you. I got you, buddy. I got you. There you go. Thank you, my friends. What's the situation up top? They are on full alert, knocking the building down. We'll have to fight our way out. We're gonna need some heavier gear. I know just the place, my friend. My friend, my comrade. There are heavy weapons by the elevator when they knock me down. We need to arm ourselves before reinforcements arrive. Try to make a mic, keep moving. The gear is this way. Under cover me! Cover. Again, you can go up, down, left, right. Nice, nice kill. <laughs> There's 
the gear. Body armor, helmets, LMGs, and explosives. Hell yeah, yeah LMGs. Mmm. We're going uh, PUBG on this bitch. Oh yeah. Lazar, meet us in the southwest courtyard in five minutes. Belikov is hitching a ride. Plenty of room in the backseat. Once we get off the elevator, just keep moving towards the courtyard. Get the charge ready, Bell. Let's go, Bell. Die! Die, Reds! What happened to this guy? There he is. Let's get out of here. They got some heavies of their own. Oh, God. That's one hell of a strong lava. We've got the list and we're heading back. Be ready to move. It's about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the states. It's time to take down Perseus, once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. All right, that might actually mean due to side objectives now. That means I actually missed the uh, other side objectives. We'll 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 see if we can improvise. Don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah. Alright guys, so here we are on the board again. I want to, this mission is called End of the Line, so I actually assume that it's the end of the game, which to me feels a bit soon, but then again I have been playing for three and a half hours, and these level, these missions are quite longer than your usual Call of Duty mission. Um, but here's the thing, so with Operation Chaos, it actually says here, so I figured what, what, what I should probably do. So I have the code, but the phrase that you need to do are probably these... Um, the words at the bottom underneath the uh, the numbers and that's the one piece of evidence I'm missing now it says here it's hidden in red light green light so I might actually redo that quickly and just search for it 
uh, to get that. I could also do that with the other one, but then I actually have to redo the mission I just did. So unfortunately, I didn't look close enough. But here's the thing. I examined the evidence and I checked where everybody went um, in terms of the dates. And what I came to the conclusion of is that this is the bearded lady. Um... This is the juggler. Hold on. Copenhagen. Yeah, Dijon strongman. Oh no, yeah, so it's a male. Yeah, this is strongman. And then here's the problem and the one piece of evidence I'm missing. There are two guys here and here that went to Copenhagen on the same date. However, one of them is a political person. And that makes it now that where I'm going to gamble. But I'm going to say this one because he's a little bit older. Purely on that. Pure, purely gambling. He also traveled a lot more. This one only went to West Berlin. Krakow. This guy went to... Finland, Copenhagen. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. This is, this is a gamble, but I'm pretty sure about these two. You'll not be able to change your three suspects once you kill Vladim Rutnik. Yep, that's fine. Let's hope I have it right. Man, these transitions and these cutscenes are, are pretty crappy still on day one. Very laggy. So nervous. I really do like these extra missions that you... Oh. Oh yeah, I also want to correct myself. I actually looked up on IMDb. It's not the actual same voice actor that does Woods. I said that before, how like it's the same thing, but it's not. I think he does a very good job, though, of sounding like him. What do you think I'm doing? Christ. Okay, uh, this is giving me a lot of anxiety here with this time limit. I'm not actually going to, oh. I was hoping that that would blow up earlier. I'm also playing this way too reckless. I wonder if during the mission itself, you can still get um, information or hints.
Oh, Christ. So, hold on. I need to search this. Yeah, see, I am in the objective area. All right, cover me, woods. Oh, shit. Oh, chill out with the RPGs, dude. <sighs> Bad time to reload. <gasps> Grenade. Where are you going? Oh! Yep, no, that's that didn't work. Ugh. Oh. What's my other one? Okay, sniper. Not useful in this case. Uh, nope. Ugh, more RPG units. Oh, Christ. Oh, my God. Rootnik's heading out of the back. Okay, it's in at least there. Yeah, no, I'm playing, playing way too, uh, too reckless. But again, that's, that's that time limit that's bugging me. Even though nine minutes might actually be more than enough for what I have to do. Christ! They are on my ass everywhere. This is not going well. Ugh. Eagle of death, huh? Sure. Whatever you say, Woods. I'm just happy to have you. Yeah, fuck you too. No. Oh my god, he did throw a grenade. Enemies everywhere. I threw it against him. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Mm. 
Wait, what? Do I need to snipe him? What's uh, going on here? What's the plan? Oh god, Jesus! Oh, oh, that's a flammable. Smile to the camera. Call for exfil. Throw smoke anywhere you want to mark a location for exfil. Be sure to choose location you can defend from. Okay. Uh. I guess a bit of an open location, right? Let's do it here. A few minutes? Oh, there it is. You can actually see it on top. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> you said it, Woods. Well, that was my air support, I assume. 400 meters out. Yep. Yep. Less than a hundred meters. There he is. Well, let's hope that my three targets were correct.
Alright guys, I am now going to actually be replaying the Soviet Facility 1. I will not record this, uh, just you guys have already seen this, and I'm just going to uh, not properly play it, but just look for the evidence to hopefully do uh, Operation Chaos correctly. So, see you in a bit. Alright guys, so I redid this mission and I actually found all of the maps that you need to uh, take photos of. In the beginning I just was looking through every room and I thought it would take forever, but actually they have something pretty cool which I didn't notice before where if you're near the vicinity of a map, the objective area, the yellow objective area icon will show up on the screen and so that actually made it quite easy uh, to find all six of them and by uh, the third one, so I only needed to find one more, uh, I already got the uh, final hint, final evidence here. So here we go, so let's see, Reagan sworn in 40 president moments later, actually let's click it. Ah. Uh, it's E1 Cree, which is an acronym, obviously. So what would it be? This might take a little while, people. Uh, I might cut this out, or I might shorten this up, depending on how long I, uh, I take this. Let's see. Uh... Okay, I actually grabbed the piece of paper that might make things a bit easier. Shove my mic out of the way real quick. So we have... I found it, people. I found it. it took me way longer than it should have, but uh, I wrote a lot of combinations down. I first thought about, like, key or no from, like, knowledge. Uh, but then I discovered the new in there, and then I was like, New Year, no, and then I was like, New York, it's New York, that's the... There's this thing there. Which is interesting, because it's 4748, I don't know if that means that, that's also the code I need to put in here. We'll see. Uh, hold on. Alright, so I actually had to look it up, but basically it's switched. Um, which, I don't know, is a little stupid. But basically how it works is this, what I thought was the code, actually is the passphrase. Meaning that Portland is my passphrase. And what is my code? It's New York, which means 4748. So, I was absolutely correct. It's just I had them uh, flipped. So, 4748 is my code. And then the passphrase is Portland. And apparently this is different for all players, which is interesting. And there we go. Launch mission. Move south across Colorado and into northern New Mexico. That's where we'll intercept his convoy. We can't let a former CIA operative run a person's spy factory. Let's put this asshole six feet under. Alright, hey guys. So in the last mission, the audio unfortunately was uh, muted. I don't know what happened, why that was. I didn't change anything to the audio. It should be back again. I did play a little bit ahead, although, so I'm actually redoing this. Um, but hopefully, that should not be too big of a of an issue. We're doing now the um, other side mission before then heading towards Cuba, the end of the line. I can't believe Aldrich betrayed the CIA. Betrayed the whole fucking country. Phoenix 2-4, this is Phoenix 2-1, 30 seconds out. We're up, Mason. Locked and loaded. Target's ahead, taking the lead. Shit 
Feds think they can hide from us. Time to send a message. True that, brother. Aldrich is in one of those trucks. We hit the ground hot. Watch for runners. We'll cut off the lead truck. 2-1. Provide overwatch. Let's go! Light him up, light him up. There we go. We we'll love to blow up their cars. Oh, Jesus. Got to cover. Ugh. Did not get to cover on time. I can't believe Aldris betrayed the CIA. Betrayed well, the whole I have to do this again. Country. Alright, let's at least get a checkpoint up, once we land it. That will help. Target's ahead, taking the lead. Shitheads think they can hide from us. Time to send a message. Lights. Aldrich is in one of those trucks. We hit the ground hot. Watch for runners. We'll cut off the lead truck. 2-1, provide overwatch. Let's go! It's actually really cool doing a mission in the US soil. Just gonna throw a grenade out there. I don't want to get too close to this car because it hasn't blown yet. Okay, that one's down. Already on it, Woods. Not too sure what my other weapon is. Got a shotgun. All right. With this distance, that's not gonna help. Nice. That's a good grenade. Come on. Reloading of this thing takes forever. So China. Oh God. Well, this will be interesting. There are some nice details, like the cords actually moving with the explosion. Some good physics. Oh God! Help me, Woods. Or something to my left. You bitch. To the motel we go. Chopper still is Overwatch. That was a waste. Nice. 
second floor. Let's crash their party, Mason. 2 1, we're going up. Roger that. I'll see you gentlemen afterwards for extraction. Aldrich is running out of hot. Come on, Mason. This is the place. Are you there, mate? Ridge and you too, and you too. <laughs> He's finished. Mason, let's get a picture of Aldrich. Oh, look at that. We got some new ammo. Photo album. Oh, right. For the traitor section, you know, the shitty part. <laughs> there we go. Get the photo. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Take your heavy fire, waving off. Oh, dear. Beautiful. Oh god, what the hell? <laughs> well, that's also a possibility. Just die the moment I get there. I know, I already see the ladder. Here we go. Up, up, up. Perfect. All right, guys, here we are. Now we're at the board again, ready to seek Perseus. Um, but first, let's actually talk to our team member, since it seems that this is probably the final time we get to use this board. Hold on. Make it quick. I'm busy. Uh, the infiltration went well, right? Indeed it did. Our insider delivered in a big way. As for you... The baseline expectation around here is to surpass every expectation. So from the bottom of my ass, welcome to the team. Okay, what if we find a life nuke? Plan A is Agent Azalea. We didn't pick Lazar for his charisma. He's an expert in bomb defusal. If it's live and he can't disarm it, you're still gonna get that nuke out of there. Bring a change of pants. Mm. I don't want to ask about th this whole like distrusting each other in the group is weird. Should we have a larger strike team? Negative. Even at this size, Perseus could catch our scent on the wind and try to relocate. In this scenario, less is more. Okay. With a nuclear war at stake, our intel better be solid. It's as good as it's going to get. The intelligence community has spent years trying to track Perseus to a concrete location. This guy lives between the lines of recorded history. Nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than you personally putting him down. 
The projector's in the back corner if you need to go over any details from the briefing. I'm back. Okay, uh... Go on. Over here. Hmm. Let's talk to Mason and Woods. Let's see what these two are up to. Hey guys! Look alive. It's Adler's protege. Well. Mm, is there some history between you and Castro? We know. We play Black Ops 1. Are you fucking serious right now? <sighs> Don't get him started. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on. Let me set the record straight. Here we go. <laughs> so, yeah. Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to D.C. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head, well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. Huh. Kept it under five minutes. I was huh? expecting a diatribe. Mm, were you hunting in Vietnam? No, we were after a different spy in Quezon. Huh, that's right. Our team was right next to Adler's when we touched down in Way City. You can ask Adler. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. <laughs> in all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blanket. Woods, yeah. Mm. You guys are legends! <laughs> what is this fan service to the first game? <laughs> you hear that? We're fucking legends. Yeah, wherever we go, we bring the thunder. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. You seem pretty unimpressed over in Fake Town, USA. Or, are you talking about Mason right now? As I live and breathe. You seem calm, considering the gravity of the mission. Yeah, well, you just snuck into the KGB with Adler, hacked their database, and got out in one piece. And I'll be going in with my boy here. If I were Perseus, I'd be running for the hills. And I'd be calling in a mortar strike on that hill. Mm, feels like it began a long lifetime ago. Yeah, for Adler, it's a culmination of three decades of meticulous tracking. Of course, it's Cuba. You'll probably be extra pissy on this mission. I advise you to stay focused and drop the nostalgia. All right, we have the manpower to pull this off. Look, you better buck up, buddy. Adler's gonna want you more committed than a grenade without its pin. I'll be that, Woods. You can count on me. Uh -huh. Yep. Later, Bell. All right. Let's do this. End of the line. Examine the evidence. Let's launch the mission. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love. We're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! 
I don't know if a sniper is such a good thing for a indoor fighting stance. Do the honors, Bell. Like fucking clockwork. All teams fan out. Defense to the main gate. Pressing fire. Moving up. Checking now. Give me some fucking cover. We have turrets. One, two. Yep, I figured that would happen. Got him. We got snipers. Took that one out. Oh, there he falls. That's painful. M16, baby. Let's do it old school. Oh, we got a new turret. Finding cover. There we go. Let's go. Reloading. He's reloading too. Boom. I was quicker. Bullet penetration? Nope. Let's move forward here. Take your team right. Copy. What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. Hell of a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Park. There we go. Stay sharp. Quite all of a sudden, yeah. Well, I shot these guys. That, that's, what, that's what happened. Fuck. Is everyone all right? On it. Was a mine. There we go. Any more? RPG on the balcony. Not anymore. Whoa, easy there. A double one there. I actually cannot go prone here. I guess your character model actually has like physical space. Bart, what do you say we finally grab that drink when this is over? Your position did that. That's not a no. Jesus, get a fucking oh. room, you two. Let's see, D to change feed. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. 
Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor. Room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs. Look Let's out. move. Get you there, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. I'm actually starting to understand that uh, Lazar and Park are quite underdeveloped here. I don't actually know that much about them, especially Lazar. You don't do a whole lot of missions where they are actively with you. Let's move. Moving. El enemigo está avanzando. Shit, gotta reload, cover me. There we go. Beautiful blood splatter on the wall. Please, Move they're shooting at us! No! Stay away! I'm moving! Reloading! Moving up! Oh! That's cool. I got a challenge. I saved a doctor. I'm moving. Heading to cover. Shit, gonna reload. Just did it, but someone could still get on it. Incoming grenade! I'm moving! Moving up! Twenty-seven B. Adler, we're heading inside. Lazar man the door. Got it, Park. Bell canvas the room. You got it. Oh my goodness. Hastings, stop talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. Escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They'd give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go, no? Contact! Hey, Chopper coming in low! It's gotta be Perseus! All teams head to the roof! Move! Move! Adler, we got a shit ton of reinforcements circling in combat. Cover. Oh god, oh we have a lot of units incoming. Je oh Jesus, okay, well, never mind. You guys good? Stay down. Let us take care of it. The window. Out the window. What window? Here we go. Move, Bell! I'm on it, dude. Chill out. Oh, there goes the chopper. The chopper got away. Fuck Perseus. We got bigger problems. Lock down. Don't wait for us. This is ground team. Come through our visual. Roger that ground team. We have visual. Fasten your harness, cross your arms, and remember to keep your backs to the wind. Inbound in two minutes. Man down. Heads up, Park. You got snipers on the roof. I'll be that. Bell, check out those snipers. They're everywhere. Controlled burst, Lazar. We're low on ammo. Gotta reload. Come on. It's faster. Jesus. You really get punished for, like, reloading. It's more realistic, I guess. You know 
Back it off. I think I'm ready for that drink now. Don't tease me, Park. But we'll have none of that horse Fuego de su beer. It'll be a proper drunk. Get ready. Here they come. And he's shooting through these bags. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, those guys have like Overwatch on us. Low on ammo. Where's that plane? One minute. Stay focused, Lizard. I'll tell you what. When we get out of this, I'm by. Now that's something worth fighting. Ground team, this is Skyhook. The zone is hot as hell. Can we lend an assist? That would be much appreciated, Skyhook. Roger that. Help is on the way. Ground Three calling in AC. Oh, baby. Here we go. That's a hit. Good effect. Good effect. Any more? Bullseye. Looks, looks clear. Ground team, we only got enough fuel for one more pass. Be ready for extract. You will not get another chance. Copy that, Skyhook. I can see the plane. Park, we need to hook into the line now. We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go. All right. Take cover. Shit. Oh, I have to make a choice here. T minus ten. Nine. Oh, uh the girl. <laughs> Come here, I got you. Going back to MI6. Go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on. A little further. Sims, get the gurney. Wow, she seems to be in a better state than I am. Bell, I feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. Going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping Perseus. You always have been. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn, through the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? The 
Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We oh, we're going back to Nam. We, we had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. Oh, we're back in Nam, baby. Defending against a VC attack. Fighting in the rice fields. Hell yeah. This is what I want to see more of. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Look at this! It's gorgeous. Oh, we're losing people. I see movement. I am dying. I cannot go prone here. Down. Oh man, we are not doing good. Love the M16 here though. Again, the weapon was apparently a piece of garbage in real life that jammed all the time. For some reason, pop culture like video or movies and video games have really embraced the M16 though. Oh god. VC fled into the tree line. Let's chase it was him then. then you realized you were the sole survivor. Oh what? You set off to locate the bunker. Oh no. I don't think I like this ego shooter stuff. Wow, look at this thick Vietnamese jungle. Oh, and some ruins. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Oh, is this like Stanley Parable? Where I can make like a choice? I can like follow his story or I can make my own? That's Oh, that's why Percy said he's lying to you. Well, in that case, let's actually go left. Ugh, so nasty. So much for being stealth. The zip line nearby was the best way back to the cave. You wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, I do like zip lines. I'll follow his story for now then. What the hell is the statue doing here?
Oh, that's a little high. Do I... Can I make this jump? Oh, yeah, look at that. I can. Oh, exploring the cave. You equipped your shotgun and had a bow ready. A bow? That's when you discovered oh. VC soldiers meeting with Soviet agents. Would have been nice if I could have like a double kill with the same arrow. This feels very out of place, like having a bow and arrow. Where do you go? More units. Oh, Should have hit that. In the ass. Did that actually kill him? I don't think so. There we go. Shotgun always does the trick. <laughs> Whoa! Yes, Bell. That was the door into the Soviet bunker. This doesn't seem realistic that that would be there. Look how big it is. Yes, good, the bunker. Now tell me about Perseus. Almost had it. Let's run six. Okay, ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for Oh, survivors. they're presenting different truths. You readied your bow to take them out silently. Interesting. Which one is the real truth, though? Some good kills though, but now oh, that's over. Oh my god, I only have a pistol. That sucks. Gotta have to get an AK here. I hear one to my right flank. I just give me give me a weapon, whatever you have. AK baby, that's right. Viet Cong style. Communist style. Not a lot of ammo, but it works. Oh, look at this. The realities are blending. There's like... The path now split near a ruin. Merging. So you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Again with the televisions going on. Nope, I'm going right. Your report says the bunker was down the left path, not the right. This isn't right. Can Bell still hear me? Use the grass for cover. Our knives, I have grenades. There we go. See? What are you talking about? That was super effective. That was amazing. Bell, you noticed a rope ladder leading to a bridge overhead. The bridge led toward the bunker, so you climbed the ladder. Huh. You know what? Sure. 
I didn't actually go over that bridge. You mentioned crossing a bridge near a village. The bunker was somewhere on the other side. Hey, Lazar. Whoa. Bell. Your report distinctly mentions the village as your destination. It doesn't mention a zip line. At the fork, you followed the road right toward the sound of gunfire. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. This is a great section, by the way, where you have him, like, narrate the story. You can obey his narrative or disobey. We have seen that before. Again, Stanley Parable. I think also in DLC from Borderlands 2. what wall god there's a lot of them holy sweet Jesus oh getting attacked from behind Love some chopper support. I'll tell you that much. Oh my god. Okay, I think I took care of the snipers. Nope, there's one still alive. That was a grenade. Nice. Blow them all to kingdom come. Oh, there's yes, the bunker. This was the bunker entrance you described in the report. This could be the onset of another photo oh. seizure. Uh, which one? Okay, what about this? Oh, okay. Uh, I already got it. I need to make an actual door and then I can go through it. Kind of like Layers of Fear style. I guess in a way this section is indeed like layers of fear. No, don't stop, Bell. Fuck, fuck. Hand me the fallback scenario manual. Here it is. Bell, we've got a job to do. Fallback scenario. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. First of all, this is a fallback scenario. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. We already know this is fake. Launcher and charged ahead. And then now not going to listen to any of his uh, narratives. Oh, friendly fi what? Oh, Jesus. You ready a grenade launcher and charged ahead. Yeah, I guess I have to charge ahead not to hit any of my own uh, men, huh? Three more grenades. Final one.
Ooh, things are getting weirder and weirder. The path split near a ruin, so you took the well-traveled trail on your left, not toward the waterfall on the right. Nope, I'm gonna go to the right. It even says that, doesn't it, here in Russian? Like maybe liar or something. The bunker is left, Bell, not right. Turn around, Bell, and take the other path. Nope. Here we go. Same thing. Grenades. This is how you do it. Boom! Oh, beautiful. Is that Lazard again? Bell. You noticed a rope ladder leading to a bridge overhead. Whoa! The bridge led toward the bunker, so you climbed the ladder. Everything here. Bell, use the time. ladder to your left. This is amazing. First of all, you can get some really cool screenshots here, showing off some great lighting. This poor fella. Great facial expressions, too, for just the regular NPCs. Let's go to the cave. Oh, I cannot. Okay. Then I guess I have to take the bridge after all. Oh, look at that! We got Mount Rushmore, but Adler style. That also explains why we saw the, uh... Bell, the bunker isn't there. Turn back. Now. Alright, sorry. Jeez. Reports at the bunker across the bridge. God damn it, Bell, we're running out of time. You went left at the port, not right. No, I'm go- oh, I cannot even go right. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. May bomb strike. Hell yeah, burn him. Big Duke 4, Roger. Diverting air power to your area, 30 seconds out. 30 seconds. They're everywhere. Ready to deliver. Bell, mark the target area. Wake Come on. Up, Bell, mark the target. Roger, here we go. Get your people back and head down. Inside the house hit by napalm, you would find a hidden bunker door. What? That doesn't make any sense. Well, check it out, Bell! I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it! Oh! Oh, that's trippy. God, what? Oh, the game turns into PT now. That could do it now. Bell's heart rate is already heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Everything's stabilizing. Heart rate is coming down now. The hell? 
Drop bombs. What? Okay, whatever. That's one hell of a boring game. <laughs> Oh! Well, now it's turning into a horror game. Oh, yeah it is. Jeez. Get me the hell out of here. I don't like this. Two clocks. There's only one first. Turn around. Why is Bell with Hughes? Stop speaking in circles. Stop wasting my time with this hallway. Four clocks. Turn around, Bill. Oh. Oh. Okay. What the lab? What the hell is Bell doing in the lab? Bell, forget about the damn lab. I need to know about the bunker. Comrades, the United States and its allies slowly consume Earth. Oh, Nova 6. Nice. Lol. What is happening here? Don't trust Adler. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. Been through the hell of Vietnam together. We got a job to do. Can Bell survive another round? Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. Now oh, we're back here. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next part. Oh, yeah, I totally agree, Adler. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Okay, whatever you say. Bell, go into the bunker now. Roger. Oh, I followed all of his orders, apparently. States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. You gotta admit, I'm surprised. 
I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. Normal forms of interrogation won't work. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. You just need to give the subject a name. Bell. He's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Perseus say? Where is he? What is happening? What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you'll experience if you don't start cooperating. Uh, what did you do to me? We gave you a second chance when you were shit out of luck. Now, we just want some assistance in return. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. Oh. It was like one of the henchmen I shot during the car chase. Oh, I was one of the two that he shot. That we, we saw this execution happen. Here's what you don't know. Perseus won't be there. None of these hired guns are going to leave Duga alive. We'll dump the bodies in the forest. Then we will move the weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, yeah, we, we saw this with the Sobetsky. with the sniper or the binoculars. And he gets out and shoots but us. I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of you. I don't want the competition. Ah, and we survived, and they gave us a new identity. Interesting. We were there. We found you after everything went down. Uh, I believe you? The CIA reinvented you, Bell. We needed to give you a new identity to replace the old. Sims and I both wanted you to be CIA. You didn't resist it as much as we thought you might. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your memory. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. We needed you to have that shared experience, that lifelong bond, to establish trust. None of it was real. Look at that. I was never in Nam? No. Count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me? I've been living with them for over a decade. How did changing my identity help you? Interrogation didn't work with you, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you'd give everything up. What'd I give you? Enough to get us where we are today, but we're not finished yet. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got come a job, on, we've got a job come to on. do. You've got a job to do. You've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Oh, it's like a bio, the Bioshock Your innermost secrets were always twist. locked behind Would, would you kindly? Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you. 
It's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who, in the end, has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green like Arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. From the safety of Solovetsky. 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 This is your chance to define who you really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovetsky. Ooh, I can lie. Or tell the truth. Well, they did take me and I guess I'll tell the truth. Solovetsky. Sims, get Washington on the line. Everyone else, gear up. We're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. Perseus. The CIA's analysts consider him to be the single largest threat to the free world. You've been given an important task. Protecting our very way of life from a great evil. The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. We are hours away from Perseus detonating nuclear bombs in every major European city. We'll do whatever it takes. Some of us have crossed the line to make sure the line's still there in the morning. No one's gonna brand us heroes or villains. They don't know us. As for me, I've been chasing this ghost for 13 years. That ends now. Oh snap, the heroes. Badasses. In a laggy cinematic. Because they can never get their freaking cinematics correct on the day one. Coming up on your right. Belikov really came through in the Soviet armor. About time you caught up, Woods. No way I'm missing this. Motherfuckers are gonna pay for Ice and Lazard. You'll get your chance. Solovetsky's two clicks out. All units, EMP in transit. Starfish inbound, 400 knots. When that baby hits, we'll have 12 minutes max before the radio towers come back online. Our job is to knock out the AA guns and give our warbirds a clean shot. You Let's got it. Perseus off the air. This is a cluster of fire! Oh my god, we're losing units left and right. Reload. Will do. I, I died in the cinematic. Oh, this is all buggy. Hey, gun, straight ahead. 
Heads up, RPG! We're pinned down! Bell, toss out of smoke so we can move up! I'm gonna go left now. Hold on, I'm just gonna clear this whole area of dudes because I'm not gonna go get shot again in the cutscene. Need some help here. I am pinned down. Alright, cheers. I'm going for it. Uh, actually, that other weapon is also very nice. I might want that. I know that. Just be ready to launch when I tell you, Hudson. Oh, we're going into a Dark Souls level. Contact. Oh, I hear a heavy. Hate these guys. Take them down, quick. He's a shotgun. It doesn't help. We got him. Any more? Five minutes before all of Europe goes nuclear. Pick up the base. Coming back on. Ashley, you seeing this? Woods, we're running out of time. I gotta tell Hudson to launch. That's a big gamble if that gun ain't cleared. Hudson, start your bombing run. Copy that. Get your team out of there, Adler. Those bombers won't have a chance if we don't clear that last AA gun. You better hurry the fuck up. They have like a turret there. On it. Flanking. Orders confirmed. Bombing strike imminent. Well, the bombers will be here any minute. Oh god, what the oh, okay. I got hit from behind. Well, the bombers will be here any minute. Good checkpoint there, actually. Coordinates confirmed. One minute to bomb strike. One minute. Oh dear. Radio towers are still floating up. We got a chance. Hold on. I just need to kill everybody within a minute. So I'll probably just switch weapons. Here we go. Get it. All units be advised. We are scorching earth. Clear all Bell, friendlies. We gotta go. Now. Boom.
Boom, baby. They did it, Mr. President. They stopped the nukes. Thank God. And the CIA. Did they get Perseus? No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. Take my hand, Bell. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. Oh, would you look at that? Do you have an update on Kasim Javadi? Yeah. After capturing Kasim Javadi, we've convinced him he's better off working for us rather than against us. The death of Arash Kadavar opens a path for Kasim to take control of their network. He'll give us deeper insight into Soviet activity in the Middle East. And with our resources behind him, he should be able to influence regional affairs for years to come. What about Anton Volkov? Volkov has become a prime source of information since his capture. After interrogating him, MI6 quickly established a series of listening posts in East Berlin. Oh, this is the uh, messages results of my choices. Throughout the city. That's cool. Poking holes in the Iron Curtain. I wish there was a little bit more than just, you know, a table and some documents, but, you know. How did the cleanup in Havana go? We were able to recover Agent Azalea's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovesky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. We'll take some time to heal up. Then it's back to work. We may have stopped Perseus, but his rats are still nesting all around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Not anymore. We took down that son of a bitch Aldrich, as well as his key assets here in the States. It'll take Perseus a while to recover from this one. I'm very curious if my three uh, suspects were the correct ones. What about Europe? Not only did we stop a nuclear attack, we managed to take out Major Vadim Rudnik. That should be a significant blow to Perseus's European network. We also flushed all of Rudnik's key assets down the shitter. Nice! Maybe someday Perseus I had a good him. gamble there. Hudson, you're the Shakespeare of Langley. And Bell. What about Bell? Arctic air. There's the head, doesn't it? I guess, well, you made but two you're smoking. Extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I just want you to know that this little thing that's happened with you and me, it was always for the greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid? Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. Oh! What the fuck? Shoot! Who 
who survive though. Ah, uh, that is it, people. Well, well, well. Color me surprised. I really like that. I think Call of Duty has been back at the highlights for maybe since Modern Warfare last year uh, with a great campaign then. And this one that does things so differently. I will say, though, that maybe the last few missions do get a bit more, uh, you know, like we used to with a lot of just shootout, shootout, shootouts. But even the flashback scene was kind of funny with um, the zombie section or the choice that you have a la... Uh, what was that game called? The the something experiment. It was this famous Gmod. Stanley Parable or something like that. And uh, same thing here where you could actually, you know, do what the narrator says or go against him. Um, but that's, like I said, what really blew me away is how much they focused on things like storytelling, adventure elements, and not just fighting. Uh, you know, there were a lot of parts where you could just walk around, soak in the atmosphere. Um, there were a lot of stealth sections. They were actually very well done because they were so open and they did, you know, you could actually do proper different routes. When I redid the mission Red Light, Green Light to get the um, intel for the optional mission, I actually took a drastically different route for the stealth section. And it worked. And so, you know, the level design in of itself is, I think, a huge improvement over many Call of Duties that we had before. And um, some of the things that it does might not necessarily be all that new. For example, the whole mission in the KGB building, you know, is again quite comparable to what we had in Call of Duty World War II, but the scope of it was much bigger. There was a lot more to do, different choices, uh, and thus, even though it might not be necessarily all that new, the implementation of it all made it to where it felt very special and quite different from, you know, many of the other Call of Duties we had there. And uh, in my opinion, Treyarch did it again and managed to deliver a great great adventure uh, i'm curious what other people would think of for example the you know more adventure style levels maybe they just want shooting but i really loved it and i actually maybe even prefer that than just to have only levels where you shoot uh you know the levels themselves were also great the training town that you have with woods at the um in in uh, the ukraine is great um it's just more than Modern Warfare, uh, you know, that had some levels that were definitely a little bit less in terms of quality, um, I felt that it was very high uh, over here. It was varied. It was cool. Again, the implementation of actually feeling like a spy. You had to make photographs, um, you know, hide bodies. It just, it was very cool. And it worked. And again, the levels were so open that it didn't feel... Call of Duty at a certain point, and this is more during the Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare era, where it was super linear when it came to some of those designs. Where, for example, you wouldn't need to like shoot someone or like have to like stealth kill them, but there was only one way to do it. And here you actually have a few more ways, and that is greatly appreciated. And I think we should definitely see more of that uh, in Call of Duty to come. Um, I do still think that compared to Modern Warfare, the two um, SWAT style missions uh, are phenomenon uh, or phenomenal and better than or just still worth playing that campaign alone but maybe overall I think I would prefer this campaign uh, which is very interesting to me because viewers of my channel know that I prefer my Call of Duty games where it's a um, you know, large scope battles, so battles with dozens and dozens of units at the same time, and this is all espionage, so you're always only with like two or three people, um, and it works because I really felt like playing this 1980s Cold War spy thriller uh, more so than, you know, Black Ops 1 did, uh, or, or any other game for that matter. It was really cool, really well done, and I actually realized that I absolutely love uh, this Cold War spy, you know, theme. Um, you know, the levels were also very close to heart. Uh, Amsterdam, of course, in the beginning, the town where I was born in. Uh, East Berlin, uh, that is, of course, also important. Um, it's just, 
you know, it, it, it all didn't drift too far from uh, from my own home, which was uh, very interesting to me. The Vietnam level, of course, the second one, and also the flashback one was very cool. Um, there was enough fan service to the first Black Ops. I'm glad they did not bring back Resnoff. I was a little bit afraid they would do that. Um, yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know yet exactly what number I'm going to give it. I'm going to write the review after this. Uh, again, please check it out on Kanoa Reviews. Uh, you can find a link to that YouTube channel in the description down below. Um, but yeah, I think I will be quite positive. I mean, there's still the zombie mode. I don't have any friends who be who have this game, so I will not stick too much time in that, which is kind of a shame. But I uh, I might play a few missions, see how uh, how that goes. I probably won't dive into the multiplayer all that much. Um, especially not because, again, the, the friends did not actually get this game. Uh... But yeah, man, Treyarch is doing it, and Treyarch might actually be the king of Call of Duty campaigns at the moment. I really like Black Ops 1 campaign, I like Black Ops 2's campaign, I never played Black Ops 3 because I heard horrible things about that. Um, they of course also made Black Ops 4, that didn't really have a proper campaign, but here again, they're back in, in you know, full gear, and uh, I think it's cool. I, uh, I also looked it up right now. Depending on that choice with truth or lie, you also get a different end level, which is also very cool and appreciated. You know, adding to the replay value. Um, and it's also cool that you have choices that aren't that standard black and white. Again, the Richter guy uh, in East Berlin that I found, you know, I wanted to save him, but he was a traitor, so it would have maybe been better to kill him, which is not necessarily, you know, the white knight thing to do, but in reality, you know, a white knight situation might not occur, so I think that is actually very cool. All the voice actors did a very good job. Yeah, man, it's, uh, huh, hot huh, damn. I'm trying to think about really minor points or complaints I don't really have one. I, I remember first when I um, when we went to Cuba, that mission was called End of the Line. And I remember thinking, oh, that is actually very quickly. I only played this game for like three hours and you're already giving me the end mission. But there were still like four missions or something after that. So that actually fleshed things out. Um, and I think the campaign is around like five hours or something, which is still comparable to the other other Call of Duty games. Like I said, there is a bit more replay value here. Same thing with the KGB headquarters, where you can do that situation in drastically different things. You know, I haven't even been to the server room. There's a whole thing there. Um, very cool. I think that the other studios who make the next Call of Duty games can actually learn from this. And it, it's, it's, it's very cool. Very well done. Um... Might not work in all situations. Again, because it was, you know, spy, Cold War themed thriller... You know, doing these smaller scale missions really worked, but let's say you have a World War Three scenario, it might not actually work. So that's something that, you know, they need to figure out for their own. I'm not entirely sure what the next Call of Duty will be, because they have three studios working on one each, and it might be... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Modern Warfare, the follow-up to Modern Warfare is, I think, still... One year away? Question mark. The one before that was World War Two or Black Ops Four. Well, anyway, I'm very curious to what you guys think of this game. Uh, I already saw that there were uh, a lot of positive reviews. Also saw that there were some of you who indeed wanted to wait until they played the game for themselves to check out the video, which is understandable to avoid spoilers. I uh, I had a lot of fun, of fun with this. It's great. And that's the thing, too. I realized this, too. Call of Duty games are produced in such a way that they're never actually, like, bad, right? It's not like it doesn't work or the controls are bad or whatever. It's just it can definitely happen that there's a Call of Duty game that is forgettable. Like, um, you know, what so many people say, Black Ops 3 or uh, Infinite Warfare, or in my case, the one that I find very forgettable is Call of Duty Ghosts. Which, again, technically is not a bad game. It's just, it's so bland and boring. I 
And that is pretty much it, people. We're actually going to see if the uh, credits are going to stop pretty soon, if there's going to be a stinger at the end. Because we still have to actually get Perseus. I'm not too sure if they want to start a new trilogy or if they want to, like, you know, do a continuation of that. Because they wanted to do the same thing with Ghosts. And that flopped quite bad. So we never get a continuation on that, despite, you know, having an open, open ending. Alright, got Sopranos. Altos, Tenors, Basses. And a Tibetan whore. Horn. <laughs> Sorry. Freudian slip. Ooh, hit me with your best shot. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Paul is taught by who? Ooh, Bauer. Here we go. I also thought that the voice talent did a great job. Like I said, I actually thought that Woods in the beginning was the original. Uh, then I looked it up on IMDb and it was not. Um, yeah, did a great job. Adler was great. I actually really liked Adler's character. But again, I, I just cannot see um, anyone different than Brad Pitt from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's all I see when I when I look at him. Same, He has the same type of glasses, same type of jacket. It's just Brad Pitt from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Only difference is that he has a giant scar. We're about to get to the end of the credits. We hope this finds you healthy and well. On our end, we find ourselves reflecting more grateful than ever. Grateful to you, our fans, for always inspiring to create, to imagine, to tinker. Da -da 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 -da. We are inspired not only because this community deserves the best, but because of the sense of community. Thank you for standing beside us. Oh, that's cute. Da -da -da. More than anything, we're grateful for making games this year. Now we're thrilled to finally join you online. I guess that's like a positive message in a year. That's so weird. All right, doesn't actually look like we're getting anything. All right, people, that is it. I will dive into the zombie stuff. Uh, if you want to see some zombie stuff, let me know. It'll probably be just me, so it's not that interesting. But, um, yeah, check out my review on Kanoa Reviews. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.